Today we're reviewing SAM 2, the student auscultation mannequin. SAM is a portable half-body mannequin for teaching and assessing heart, lung, bowel, and brewery sounds. SAM 2 allows users to use their own stethoscope to listen on the front, back, and sides of the mannequin for individual training and practice, or SAM can be connected to a speaker or infrared sound emitter for group learning environments. SAM-2 contains a large library of high-quality simulated sounds, including variable breath sounds, palpations, thrills, and pediatric sounds as well. For purely pediatric training, please refer to our PAT, the Pediatric Auscultation Training. SAM also includes a one-year site license for SAM Online, where users can access SAM's library and study guides remotely 24-7. Additionally, Upgrades are available for all first-generation SAM users. In order to properly set up your SAM 2, plug the two included USB cables into the base of your mannequin on the sites marked 1 and 2. Plug the other end into the USB slots on your Dell laptop. Additionally, Plug your electrical adapter into the DC in port on the mannequin and connect that to an electrical outlet. If you are using a speaker, headphones, or infrared sound emitter, you can connect the audio jack into the site with a headphones icon. Once your connections are secure, turn on your laptop and press the square green button on the base of the mannequin to power it on. Once you power on your SAM 2 in your laptop, you will notice a few important icons on the desktop of the Dell computer. These icons include your SAM 2 user manual and your SAM 2 lesson guide. The lesson guide includes approximately 200 pages of lesson guides that correspond with each sound within the mannequin's library. These lesson guides can be accessed from the desktop of the computer or also within the software. The icon labeled Cardionic SAM 2 will launch the software when double clicked. Once your software is launched, operating your SAM is as simple as 1, 2, 3. Number 1, click Select Sound. This populates your sounds library with just under 100 selections to choose from. If there is a sound that you think is missing from our library, please let us know and it could be included in the next software update. The second step in using your SAM 2 is to double click on a sound to select it. Finally, step number 3 is to press the play button to begin playing that sound internally through the mannequin. Once the play button lights up blue, students may hear the selected condition using their own stethoscope. Each sound in the SAM library has customizable volume controls. When playing a sound, the volume of each anatomical location is displayed in the top left corner of the software. Each site can be individually changed and manipulated. Clicking on the speaker icon next to a specific site will mute that sound. You may also store and recall audio levels and presets. By clicking the Save button next to the audio levels, you save the volume selections and they will be remembered next time that sound is selected. Pressing Reset will restore the original default settings in the software, and the Recall button in the middle is like a back button and will revert to the last modifications made. As previously mentioned, SAM is also conducive to group learning environments. By plugging SAM into a speaker, users can broadcast the sounds to an audience. To do so, simply click on an anatomical location to select it. When the location becomes highlighted, the sound and phonocardiogram will be activated. Click in different locations to change the selected chamber, lobe, or other anatomical location. Many users plug SAM into a projection screen or smart classroom for group study. Users have full volume control of an external speaker directly from the software. Right below the internal volume adjustments is the exit speaker volume control. As with the other speakers, simply slide the volume to adjust or press the speaker icon to mute the sound. Users also have full control over the display of the phonocardiogram. Select from one times, two times, four times, 
and 8 times the display size. Click the green freeze button to freeze the screen and click it once again to unfreeze. To access the lesson guides within the software, simply click the button labeled Lesson just to the right of the play button. This action will launch a PDF study guide for the sound that is currently selected. The lesson guides include discussion topics, listening techniques, patient positioning procedures, a summary of what you will hear in each location, instructions on where to listen, examples of a phonocardiogram, and a small quiz or review with questions and answers at the end. This PDF can be emailed, printed, or the text can be copied and pasted. Users of SAM2 can compare two sounds using the Select Sound 2 button. Clicking Select Sound 2 will launch the SAM2 library. Simply double click to select your second sound and then press Play 2. Now users can toggle between Sound 1 and Sound 2 by pressing either the Play 1 or Play 2 button. To compare more than two sounds, please refer to the Lecture Sequence feature. The Lecture Sequence tab allows users to create, edit, and delete outlines for their lectures by selecting up to 20 sounds prior to a class or assessment. To access this feature, click on the Lecture Sequence tab at the top of the screen. To create a new lecture, click the Create button. Now users can assign a lecture and instructor name. To build your outline, click once in the first blank box. When the library populates, select a sound by double clicking. Continue and repeat these steps until you have selected all the sounds you wish to include in your lecture. Then, once you are finished, press Done. To begin your lecture, highlight the lecture name and press Start. The software will begin playing your first pre-selected sound. Highlight the anatomical locations to play the sounds through a speaker and activate the phonocardiogram. Use the blue arrow buttons to advance forwards and backwards in your lecture. Notice that the name of your selections are identified in the top left hand corner. Users still have access to the lesson guides within the lecture sequence. Other options include the pause lecture button. Click this button a second time to resume your lecture. Pressing the quit lesson button will end the lecture and return you to the home screen. Lectures can also be used for testing. To set up a lecture as a test, simply highlight the lecture name and under the Assign Selected Lecture drop-down menu, select a number 1 through 5. Then, from either the Lecture Sequence or the Sound Select page, click Enter Test Setup. Enter the credentials for your login. The default credentials are SAM123, and the password is GOSAMII in all caps. When finished, hit Enter or click anywhere on the test setup window. Under enable test mode, click yes to turn test mode on. Users may also opt to turn the phonocardiogram off by clicking no under enable phonocardiogram or select yes to leave it on. When finished, click on the logout button to close the window. From the menu, select the test number which you would like to use. The test mode operates very similar to the lecture mode. From here, you can select the anatomical locations to play aloud. Notice that the name of the condition is no longer displayed in the top left corner. The identification is now the responsibility of the student or students being tested. As with the lectures, use the blue arrow buttons to navigate between sounds. Once finished, you can press quit test or scroll to the end of the test using the blue arrow buttons. To log out of the test mode, 
Click Enter Test Setup and once again enter your credentials. Then click No under Enter Test Setup and press the Logout button to close the window. From the Lecture Sequence screen, SAM2 users can also access a few administrative features. The View Summary of Test Assignments button will populate a screen which indicates which lectures are assigned as tests, along with the corresponding test number. Choose Delete an Assignment, and a pop-up box will ask you to input the number of the test you wish to remove. When you press OK, that test will now be unassigned. Press Done to close the window. Use the Print List of Test Assignments button to print the list that was just reviewed. Several additional administrative changes can also be made by logging back into test mode. Press Enter Test Setup and input your credentials. Under the Enable Test Assignments section, use the Yes or No buttons to turn the testing mode on or off. You may also choose between enabling or disabling lecture editing on your software. In order to customize your login credentials, click on the Change Admin Name slash Passwords button. Here, you are able to create a new name and password for logging into test mode. Once you enter your new credentials, Press Enter. The software will ask that you re-enter your new password for confirmation. If the passwords match, you will receive a notification that your changes were successfully saved. Now, when entering into test mode, your new credentials will be required to log in. To add multiple login accounts, click on the Change User Account button. Select an account number 1 through 10 to assign that account a login. Enter a username and password into the window and press enter. Re-enter your password to confirm your credentials. Once you receive a success notification, you can close the window. Now you can use your new credentials to log into test mode.